Hey, hello and welcome once again to my YouTube channel. This is Reflex Image, and today is another video where we'll be talking about Evo 2 AI. Also, you guys might be thinking I've been talking about Evo 2 AI so much. The reason is that I've been able to actually fasten my workflow and achieve accurate results, which I would love to share with you guys. So, for those of you just hearing about it, Evo 2 is an AI photo editing software. And if you're just coming back and you still don't believe what Evo2 does, you think it's just retouching alone, I'll be walking you through everything I benefit from Evo2 and also how you can start to benefit something like that too. The reason I'm doing this video is because they are currently doing the Black Friday sales where you can get some of their package for discounted rates. So like that, it's $9 package right now, it's $58. And even with this $58, if you have to use my coupon code, you should be able to get another discount from Reflex Image. So the one of form for $9 is now 97 dollar so this offer starts from november 24th which is yesterday till december 1st trust me it's only a limited time and if you have to get it now you can actually use it till next year for you to be able to do what purchase another package again so let me walk you through how i edit all my picture using evo 2 ai so i retouch i color grade and i manipulate using evo 2 ai very very easy so what we'll be doing in this picture right now is let's clean this backdrop with just a single or two clicks you know, if you have to do this in photoshop right now it takes us about five to ten minutes firstly remove our subjects then we extend then we do all those stuff but with this all i just need to do right now is to come to my background panel here's my background panel over here then i'll do what i'll click on distraction remover turn it on wait for it to load up can you see it actually removed everything for us it removed everything for us the way it's supposed to be here's the before my picture and here is the after of it so the next one i'll go to clean backdrop so whatever our that we have on the backdrop is going to clean that up for us. The next thing I'll do is to unify lighting. Can you see what you just did with just three clicks right now? We're able to turn our white background to seamless white background from the way it is before. Very, very simple and straightforward. That being said, right now, let's go to our portrait retouching. This is my most favorite aspect of it all. What if I tell you I can retouch this picture in less than three minutes and get a more professional result than doing manual retouching? Very, very easy and straightforward. All I just need to do right now is to go to the face portrait over here. So, Frinko Arc is already turned on. If I have a facial mode, there are so many features. If you have a dark cycle, eye bag, glare remover, if you if the person is wearing glasses and there's a glare remover in the glasses, it's going to do that. It's going to remove that with just a single click. So, there are so many things you can do here. Very, very easy and straightforward. But I don't have any work to do here. I'll just put it up. I'll go to screen retouching. I'll open it up. Then I'm going to scroll down to what frequency separation. Here's the face. Here's the facial skin, if you can see, facial skin. So I'm going to turn it to 100%. Wait for it to load up. And you see what it did for our eyes right now? It actually retouched our picture. Here's the before of the picture. Here's the after of the face. So I'm going to come to the low frequency separation. I'm going to drag it also to 100%. That being said, right now, I'll go to even the jambon. I'll drag it to 100%. And I'll go to sculpt the jambon. I'm also going to drag it to 100%. So it's going to shape my subject's face for me. Here's the before of my picture. And here is the after. So you can see right now let me zoom in very well so i can see here's the before here's the after so the next thing i'll do right now is to scroll down to the body retouching here is the body retouching the other frequency separation i'll do the same thing there also again i'll do the same thing there also again 100 percent so the first one we did just for the face alone but this one we're doing right now is for the body alone so you can retouch the face separately and retouch the body separately so as you can see right now as you can see right now and our body is our skin is already looking very very nice compared to before here is the before of the skin here is the after so the next thing we are going to do right now is to do what let's zoom out also again and let's add a little bit of skin tone to our subject so i'll just scroll down i'll scroll down to where skin tone is here is the skin tone and i'm going to look for the one that is going to be compatible with our skin so these are the ones that works with dark skin this you can use it for light skin subjects so i'll just come to this one over here can you see what it gives to us Give us this melanin skin, very very nice. And if the color is not okay for you, just come here to the amount, increase it up. And if it's too much, drag it down, bring it up. It's going to give you manual control over the pictures, but it's going to make the step very very easy and straightforward for you. you don't need to stress yourself. You don't need any retouching skill or any photo editing skill to be able to use all this soft to use the software in general. So that being said, right now we're done with this right now. What I just need to do right now, just to crop my image, if I need to crop it, come to the crop and I'll pick the size I want. If 
5 by 7 and I'm going to do what? Drag it to where I want it to be and I'm going to click on OK. I've cropped my picture. Very, very easy and straightforward. So right now, I don't go to Photoshop. All I just need to do right now is to export my picture this way and send it to my client. Then I'm done. The beauty about this is that if I have about 10 portraits like this, I only need to edit one. I just have to paste the settings on the rest of the picture and it's going to retouch that for me. So I have a similar picture over here, which is this. So I'm going to come to this place. I'm going to control C on it and I'm going to click on save. Then I'm going to come to the picture right now. I'll control V on it. So it's going to apply the first setting I did here onto this picture, which you can see right now. I'm to zoom in, you're going to see it actually apply the settings here onto this particular one. Very, very simple and straightforward. What I just need to do right now, just to retouch one picture, I'll be able to edit the rest. So now let's jump straight to manipulation. As you guys know, that's my own area of specialization. So let's manipulate this particular background that we are seeing over here. Shall we? What I just need to do right now is to come to the background aspect. Here's the background aspect. So let's firstly remove all the blemishes in our background first. Let's do it this way. Then I'll just go to where my words. Just scroll down to background changer. Open background changer up. As you can see right now. Open background changer up. Then I'm going to go to my backdrops. I already have some imported backdrops that I brought in from uh, my file manager. Like this right now. Once I click on it, I just have to wait for it to load up. Can you see right now? But it's actually not placing right the way I want it to be. So what I just need to do right now is just to scroll down. And I'll look for where the horizontal and vertica, uh, vertica is. So here's the vertical over here. So I'm going to drag it up till I see it. Drag it up around this way. As you can see right now. Next thing I just need to do right now is to do it. I need to, I want to clean up some certain area of it. I'll just scroll to where the image is actually is, is over here. As you can see right now. So I'll come to where the image is and I'm going to use the max. Here's the max icon. Anyway, you see a viral like this. Where's the whole max icon? I'll click on the max icon. Then I'm going to pick the brush. I'll pick the brush. And I'm going to scroll over the area I want to clean up. I want to clean up this area so that the footer shadow is going to be there. So the softness, I'll take it 100%. I'm going to clean it off so that it's going to return the shadow back for us the way it's supposed to be. As you can see right now. I'll click on OK. So what I just need to do is to load it back into the picture. Can you see right now? We're able to manipulate our background. Very, very simple and straightforward. There's no special skills or anything needed for this. My manipulation is very, very nice. Look at how we're able to manipulate this picture. Very, very easy and straightforward. We don't need to remove background ourselves. We don't need to do this. We don't need to do that. So that's the same thing I use for this manipulation also. Click on the picture. And I'm going to scroll up to where the background is. So let's use this background in particular. If we don't want this, we can pick another one. So all I just need to do right now is to scroll down to where our horizontal and vertical is. So I'm going to use the, the vertical one. I'm going to drag it up. I want it to be around this way. Then I'll do what? I'll scroll up again. Then I'll go to my max back. Then I'm going to pick the brush. Make sure the softness is on 100%. And I'm going to drag the area I want to clean off. Which is this particular area like this. Then I'll click on OK. As you can see right now, our shadow is still back there. Very, very simple and straightforward. So you can manipulate color grid and export your picture using a photo. You don't need to take your picture back to another software to edit anything there. With this right now, it's going to help your picture editing skill, make it very, very easy and comfortable for you. So we're able to retouch right now, add the skin tone and manipulate our background very, very easy. What about if I tell you that we can color grade our pictures here in a photo? And the beauty about it is that you can also see still color from another picture to use your picture. So now let's go to the color palette over here. As you can see right now. So now what I want to do right now is I want to steal color and add it to my picture right now. So I'll just do it. I'll come to this color reference over here and I'm going to upload a reference from my file manager. So I'll look for a reference I want to make use of. So let's use this particular picture as reference right now. Let's use this particular color as reference. I'll click on open. You have to sit back and wait for it to load up. So it's going to turn the entire picture mode to this particular one I'm actually just load up right now. Let's wait for it to load up. And boom, can you see what it did for us? It actually changed the mode of the picture to the color we want. So you can just steal color, though I just use this for an example. This is actually not the right color for the particular picture. But you can just do this right now and do what? Gain access to any color grading. You still have to buy presets and buy lots. So you're able to get colors from other people's picture and use for yourself. Very, very simple and straightforward. 
hope this video helped and this is not just all there are so many things you can do but i only focus on the niche relating to people that view my video which is manipulation photo retouching and the color grading so if you are a portrait retoucher this video is for you but if you are an event photographer there are a lot of tools for you also that you can use here you can use light lettering and also you can do what you can use ai calling probably you take about 50 or 70 pictures and you want it to select it for you because this is one of the issues we have as a photographer selecting pictures then we edit picture you can automate everything using the photo ai just buy get the software today at a cheaper rate at a discounted rate and gain access to all this see you guys in my next tutorial reflex out